Hi, if you just joined us, we're just about to start off with the practical for today's lesson in AC introduction. And of course today we're looking at the AC, RMS and peak voltage developed across different resistors in a circuit. And we'll compare those voltages using the oscilloscope and using our DMM at various points in the circuit. And we'll do the conversions between peak and RMS. So just to put some values onto what we're working with today, these are all 220 ohm resistors. 220, 220, 220 and 220 ohms. And we're working with a frequency of 500 hertz. And we need a voltage of 10 volts peak very important that we work with a peak voltage here and that's what we're intending to set up on the oscilloscope so that uh, we can then later on do the conversions at the different points point A, point B and point C to convert back into RMS and check against the table that we did earlier in class. So I'll go ahead now and I'll, I'll just set up the signal generator to make sure that we're on the right frequency and get the oscilloscope ticking over and make sure that the circuit's correctly set up. So we set up the signal generator to the right frequency. We have to make sure that the output from the signal generator is turned on and we have to also ensure, I know it's silly to say, but make sure that the output is connected to the output terminal, the 50 ohm output terminal. And then the output from the signal generator, I've connected into the uh, front of the board itself. And then the oscilloscope, I've got the leads connected across the front part of the circuit. And that is uh, between these two points on my circuit. With the oscilloscope, it's very easy to set up the rig off. There's a auto button over here. I only need to touch the auto button and the oscilloscope will adjust to give me a waveform on the screen. It's as simple as that. The oscilloscope comes up with 5 volts per division. It's centered around the zero axis line in the middle of the screen and it means I've got 5, 10, 10 volts peak of waveform. If I want to change the resolution of that, go down to 2 volts, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 volts coming in. Now we'll use the multimeter and we'll confirm that we've got the right voltage with the multimeter. We need the multimeter on the AC range and I'm going to put the multimeter across the input to the board. I've got the, the multimeter now on the circuit and the multimeter is saying 6.86 volts AC. We really expected 7.07 .07 volts AC, RMS, based on the fact that we've got 10 volts peak, but the signal generator, I've already cranked up to the full output level. The circuit is perhaps loading the signal generator down just a bit, and that's as best as we're going to get. So we'll record that down on our sheet of paper. So I've just recorded that first voltage. That is an RMS voltage being measured with the fluke multimeter. We know that the signal generator was set to 10 volts peak, actually just a shade under 10 volts peak, and that's why we do not have the 7.07 .07 volts that we expected to have there. At point B on the circuit, I'll have to go ahead to point B now and move the oscilloscope probe across looking at the oscilloscope it's a much smaller waveform I'll just shift that up the screen a little bit till I get that detent position in the center and we can see that we're on the 2 volt range on the oscilloscope and we've got one two divisions so we've got four volts peak so I'll record that on the sheet
1.4 volts PK. And then we need to get the fluke multimeter and measure across that 220 ohm resistor and confirm that we do in fact have the correct RMS voltage across that. So I've got the multimeter probe onto the resistor terminals now. We come back to the fluke and we see that we've got 2.72 volts. A little bit lower than where we would have liked it to have been. Let's record that. And that again is an RMS voltage. Of course from 4 volts peak, 4 divided by root 2 would give me the RMS value. And if we do that, we find that should be 2.82 volts RMS. So we're just out by a little fraction there. Now I'll go ahead and move the oscilloscope probe to the final 220 ohm resistor. And because we've got 220 in series with 220, we've got a voltage divider set up here. We're expecting to find 2 volts peak at this point. And of course then we'd have to find the RMS voltage of that 2 volts peak divided by root 2 and we'll record that there as we read it on the fluke multimeter. I'll move the probe again. So now I've got the oscilloscope across the final resistor. I'll change the oscilloscope to 1 volt per division and in fact I've got 2 volts peak displayed on the oscilloscope and that's exactly as we expected so I'll record that on the paperwork. 2 volts PK and then like I said we'll get the multimeter which is reading RMS and we'll put that across the resistor. We've got 1.358. Let's record that. 1.358 volts. Important to write down RMS. With an AC reading, you must understand that you have to write down peak or peak to peak or RMS. 1.358, we expected 1.414. Again, a little bit low. Lower here than we expected, lower here and right at the beginning where we needed 7.07 .07, lower again but they're all perfectly in step with each other if the signal generator had in fact been able to output 7.0 volts RMS we would have then got the right voltages with our circuit